how are you everyone how was your day yesterday the nup outed a document which was advising the former leader of opposition and the current commissioner Matthias Mpuga to resign this came out at backdrop after the party leaders coming out to say that he received money which was unconstitutional in fact in that letter they termed it as abuse of office in a document which saturated on social media, the NUP party came out and said, I quote, Statement on corruption and abuse of office. There is an ongoing online protest under the hashtag Uganda Parliamentary Exhibition. The protest aims at exposing the massive corruption, abuse of office, and gross mismanagement of public affairs by the leadership of the parliament and other leaders. Unfortunately, the protest has not only revealed grand corruption on the side of NRM leaders, some leaders on the opposition side have had serious allegation of corruption leveled against them, specifically our former leader of opposition in parliament and current parliamentary commissioner, Right Honorable Matthew Simpuga, alongside three others, parliamentary commissioners have been accused of irregularly awarding themselves the huge sums tax payers' money on the pretext of service awards. Under the scheme, Right Honorable Mpuga was allocated 500 million shillings. On Wednesday 28th, February 2024, the president convened the urgent meeting comprised of the of senior leaders of the party including all deputy presidents and some of our senior legislators at the meeting right honorable Mpuga admitted that he indeed took part in this wrongdoing and apologized for the same in light of this he was strongly advised that the moral thing to do in circumstances to step down from his role as parliamentary commissioner with immediate effect the nation will recall that the values of the national Unity platform are disciplined reliable inclusiveness, integrity, patriotism, and service. All actions of corrupt and abuse of office go contrary to these values. They also go contrary to the integrity oath which every leader of the party saw at, at the start of this time. We therefore ask our leaders on all levels to do self-reflection and commit themselves to these values and oath they took to shun and fight corruption. When you look at that later, the main statement which was boldly highlighted what was he was strongly advised that the moral thing to do in the circumstances is to step down from his role as parliamentary commissioner so i think that communication was made to for, to tell mpuga that he should resign as a parliamentary commissioner so in this episode i've come to talk about the effects of this letter what it means by Honorable Mpuga taking the money from the Parliamentary Commission, but most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagari. There is a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to Rashid Seguja, a political prisoner who has been in cancellation for more than three years. First of all, it is true that Matthias Sipuga accepted that he received the 500 million and that it was a service award. When you look at the letter which appropriated the money to Masia Simpuga, you see some loopholes in this. Because if you look at this letter, you clearly see that it was in 2022 when Mpuga is still the commissioner before he even left office that this money was appropriated. And they termed it as a service award. Okay? Truth is, this kind of money taints the persona of Mpuga. Because if the opposite the core the core principles of the opposition is to to act to ask for accountability and to ask for moral dividends okay if indeed mpuga wanted to get a service award first of all it was wrong for mpuga to get a service award because he had not left office he was still a serving leader of opposition they may have wanted the money second of all that money was not constitutional because Personally, I think if a leader of opposition needs to get a service award, they must put it in a constitution so that every leader that leaves office has a token he takes home 
For example, I speak of parliament has a token, vice president has a token when he leaves office. So it, it would, they would have put it in law for other leaders of opposition, both, both former and maybe future leaders of the opposition to get the same so that if it is in the law. But by, by, by the look of things, they just, said they just wanted money for themselves. Two, this issue was also tightly regarded. If indeed it was moral, they would have uh, the, the, uh, the, the director of communication about to tell the public that indeed our commissioners are, are getting a token as they leave office. But for me, I think that was not a token. It was pure corruption. That is the truth. But uh, of course, I also feel bad for the person of Matthew Simpuga. Matthias Simpuga is among the few leaders who have, have been built in the Buganda, not, not only in Buganda, but also the other country. And in this thing, he erred. And it's no more to error. The only thing I think the motive of this letter is, or I think if the party still needed Mathias Simpuga, they would find a way of how to handle it in, by maybe giving it a contempt, part, a contempt card. But since the, the, the party seems not to maybe like Mpuga, that's why they out of this letter. It is true that Mpuga erred by taking this money. Because you cannot tell me that you are in a commission, money is appropriated to you. In case money will be appropriated to the Speaker of Parliament or to other people in the commission, you will have no moral authority to speak because by that time we will be already corrupted. The reason I'm saying that it was not a, a service award for the leader of opposition you clearly see that in a, in a later it was this money was given out in 2022. That means there is a period of uh, almost one year before Mpoga left office. So that was a long time. If indeed they wanted to give this appreciation award, they would have waited for Mpoga to leave office so that they can appreciate him. So for me, I think this scheme was about getting money. And to my thinking, I think it is not morally right. Mpoga erred. Although I think there are very many better things we can get from Puga than this one error. But this is a sign of a more bigger problem between Puga and the NUP party. There is some bigger problem. Okay? So, for me, I think the motive for this letter was to point out the corrupt in the parliamentary commission, which Puga, by the way, had an input. If indeed Mpuga never wanted, uh, if indeed Mpuga was true to himself, he would have come out to tell the public. That do, wouldn't mean that he wouldn't take by the money. It would have been collective responsibility. It also raises a lot of questions as to why it was done after Zake was chased away. Because Zake was chased away, one month later, the money was given. And remember, Zake was a substantive commissioner. Zake didn't get, get the money. Because I think they knew that if such a thing is passed in Zake's presence, he would, have, he would come out and let the public know. So for me, I think it is not more a light for the leader of opposition to take that money, which, by the way, is not in the constitution. In fact, if indeed they, want, they always want to appreciate the leader of opposition, they must put it in law to say that at the leader of opposition will get a service award which will be decided by the commission but for the speaker of parliament to give out a service award on the basing on who he wants how and how he feels about the leader of opposition it is wrong it brings about the capture of the parliamentary commission okay because the money that was given to mpuga has never been given to any other former leader of opposition and it was specifically for for mpuga and not even future leaders of opposition. Okay? Because if you read the document this, uh, that was highlighted, it says that the above mentioned benefits and service awards shall be held by current sitting leader of opposition, Honorable Matthias Simpuga and backbench commissioners on a person to hold basis, which means that that money was entitled to Matthias Simpuga only. So by Simpuga accepting this money without informing the public, it was bad because it brings about the, the capture of the parliamentary commission. I'm in agreement that a, a leader of opposition who does uh, who occupies office must live with something, but it must be anchored in the constitution with a threshold, not at the, discre the discretion of the speaker. So I'll be here waiting for the response of Matthias Simpuga. 
Although for me, I think it will taint the pers the name of Matthew Simpuga. And I also think for every action, there is a reaction. I expect Matthew Simpuga to fire back. And which I will be here uh, scrutinizing what can come out of this. Of course, that's my opinion. Do drop me your comments by commenting about this. Thank you very much for listening. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.